Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3. We just killed some Death Shepherds? Is that what they're called? Yep, Death Shepherds. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to continue down this path now. We got to do a little bit of looting here. Oh, that was the great sword we made one of them drop. Let's see. Yeah, how are we encumbered already? I mean, I know that shit's heavy, but my god. Oh my god. This is gonna become more and more of a problem, isn't it? Let's see. Okay, a bunch of that stuff is going to go to, uh, Carlock. Okay, maybe it's, uh, food. Like, why won't you leave my shit? Get out of here. How many times do I have to do this? Like, seriously, get out of here. Did I not select all of you and send you away? There we go. Um, okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here. We can send all this to camp. That'll help. Ooh, that helped a lot. Okay. Missing two camp supply bags. Now you might not have ever had one. Okay, grab any alchemy stuff. There we go. Damn, that thing weighs 20 pounds. Okay, so that's one of the things weighing us down. Let's move that off of me so that I can loot more. There we go. All right, now my front can in. loot to their heart's content. Uh, who are you? A dead zealot of the absolute. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Where did these undead come from? I summoned them to fight. Against Skithyanki attack to buy time for the others to escape with Raven God. Will's dad. So they came through here. That makes sense. What were you doing with Raven Guard? General. Tom's orders to bring him to the absolute. What if he joins them? I don't think it's out of the question that he'll that Will's dad could end up joining them. Um, what does the absolute want with Duke Ravengard? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Where is Duke Ravengard now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Okay, who is General Thorm? Leader of true souls. Chosen of the absolute. Why did the Gith attack you? Stumbled upon them. Interrupted training. Didn't realize the were here. The spell's power wanes. Okay.
Duke Ravenguard is to be delivered unharmed or mostly so immediately. Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail will face first my wrath, then Gortash's, then mine again, General Ketherick Thorne. Hells! The Absolute's forces have taken father to Moonrise Towers. A powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? And Gortash is one of the people, one of the, he's like a criminal well, underboss, right? In Baldur's Gate. Um. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. Okay, he had his exclamation. Oh, he still does. Well met. Weird. Well met. Well met. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. I was a. I was the Count Fathers at Moonrise. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. All right, well, there's nothing I can do if it's not going to give me whatever the new dialogue is, so. Why the squirrel? What the hell? Were they using the squirrel as, like, shooting practice? The freaking gift, dude. It's so mean. What's hiding here? I crave blood. What is your armor? You've got an 18 and you're doing one to four fire when you're hit. Okay. So yeah, the things we're picking up now are not going to be better. An efficient path. Let's have a look. Okay, that just meets up with that same path down there. Well, let's see if there's any loot in this. Let's have a look. Trap. Just as I expected. Stop. We're going to take two of you with me. Still I need to start utilizing that more. I have a, I have one more charge of it, too, so technically I could make a third. Okay. It's starting to get dark, so I'm thinking this is probably the path into the Shadowlands. So perhaps we'll look the other way first. Well met. Um, can I talk to you with somebody else maybe then? Whatever comes, I'm ready. Well met. No, oh, it just defaults. Let's move. Back, okay. Should mind my step. Broken. Need to find another way. Okay. Only one way to go, then. Okay, no other branching paths that we missed, right? I 
I still wonder if I should enter the artifact, or if that's going to lock me into some kind of decision. I might have to try it at some point, but if I do, I'm not, um, I'm promising you right now I may have reload, depending on what happens, because if it kind of locks me into destroying the entity inside of the artifact, I may not be okay with that. Walk in the way of dawn, for the thunder cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. As we go into the darkness. No traps, please. Well met. Okay. Bunch of dead animals. Is it because of the... Shadowlands Do not or walk in darkness. Turn to the light. Or is it because there are traps? <laughs> What's inside? sends us back to camp again. They really want us to take a rest right now. Alright. Interesting. Okay. So. We'll go on to Carlock eventually. That's going to go to Carlock. Okay. Maybe it'll bring us closer. Greeting. Chuck. You believe you can as you All right, we should be able to give her her level 8 uh, level up as well. Soldier. Hell. All right, Carlock, let's get your level up. Level 8 barbarian. 77 HP and a new feat. Okay, so what was the one that we'd like? Savage Attacker. When making weapon attacks, you roll your damage dice twice and use the highest result. Um, yep, you are going to be a god. Looking ahead. Okay. Sort by type. Okay. Arrows. Those go to you. Where's okay, and there was one other thing. It was this. Don't burn yourself. Okay, two to eleven. This is three to twelve, and has an ability. Arcane ammunition, one to four force damage. Cool. Okay. 
Okay, you take the arrow. Those can go in there. That can go in there. Okay, ceremonial longsword. Send to camp. carry that since it's heavy. That can probably just go to camp. Yep, you keep that. Alright. When you inflict a condition, gain arcane synergy. I'm just going to send that to camp for now. Probably not going to use that. When one of your cantrips deals acid, cold, fire, lightning, add your spellcasting modifier to the damage dealt. That could be pretty good on the right person. We'll send it to camp for now. And wound closure. When down, automatically stabilize at the start of the turn. That's right. Maximize the number of hit points restored. That one's really good. That one's really good. So you're using the Misty Step Boots. Okay. We'll send that to camp. Still want this around. Misty Step is useful, so we definitely want that. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. What to do? Alright, so that's kind of a problem still. It's weighing us down a lot. Our alchemy and this are weighing us down quite a bit. About 37 pounds. Yeah, 37 of this 80 is coming from those two packs. Okay, this one isn't taking up too much. Anything that isn't this sort of like amber color, I think I'm gonna just send to camp. Other than maybe the Book of the Dead Gods? That thing still looks pretty important, but I don't know. Okay, that one isn't even a full pound yet. I don't think I'm ever going to use those. I don't, I don't dare. 
When I add to wares... Okay, it's taking it out of the bag. Cool. Yeah, those are the... These are the ones that we found uh, at the hag's place. And almost guaranteed using those are going to have a... Po probably some kind of positive effect, but also a bad effect. I hope in one of the updates they figure out, uh, or they, uh, update it so that these bags will actually sort and stack properly. All in all, it's a, only a slight inconvenience, but still, it would be nice. Okay, how's that looking? It's looking better, and uh, now it'd be easier for us to distribute these. Poison or gift. Okay, those are different. Oh, oh one of them's a poison. You know, I'm going to get rid of that. That one's constantly confusing me. And one of these days I'm going to accidentally drink it. <laughs> Thinking it's going to help. And it certainly will not. <laughs> okay. Um, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to do the same thing that I just did with that bag uh, on everybody else's potion bag, and then I'm going to distribute a little bit more. So like you know, we have 13 regular potions there. We can probably move those around and um, just distribute them so that the weight isn't all on uh, Vernat right now. So give me a minute, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, everybody's a little bit closer to around 15 pounds on their potion bags. Just to show you what's in each of these. I also moved some of my alchemy stuff to Carlock so that she was uh, offloading some of that stuff since she can carry a lot more. Let's see... Which one's which? Yep, that's the potion bag. There we go. And you. Boom. So we move things around a little bit. Um, she's got one of our big supreme healings. I've got another one that's um, also pretty good. 16 to 40 healing. Uh, this one I think starts at 30. Yeah, wow. That one's huge. <laughs> that one's really good. I want to figure out how to make those. But, yeah, everything's spread out a little bit. Everybody's got a whole bunch of these alchemist fire. Everybody's got, like, a little bit of grease, you know. It's just spread out a little bit more. Um, eventually, we might have to just sell some of this stuff because we're not using it, and we're just going to keep collecting more. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely adding up. So, eventually, it will become a problem, and we'll have to do something about it. Um, but, yeah, so that's where we're at. I need to sell a bunch of stuff. Uh, this I think I'm going to send to camp because we don't really need to use it because we already got the item. We might sell it eventually, but maybe we'll hold on to it just in case there's more Lathander stuff later. Who knows? Maybe the crest can be reused somewhere. I don't know. It's possible. Um, but we also... These are for Carlock, and I can't remember what we had on him before, but we'll have to go and find what those are because we probably sent them back to camp by the look of things. So, AC 16, yours is 17, and here, increases the wearer's deck score to 18, and attack plus 1. Boom. Okay, so that gets you an AC of 17, very nice. 
So yeah, it's basically the same as on you, right? You went to a 17 to 18. Sharp as ever. Oh, you can gain more from this, though. Maybe I should keep it on you. You get more AC out of it than she does. Probably because she already is... Yeah, what's your base? Without that... Yeah, okay. Hmm. 17, 18, 19. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Plus four from Dex. Okay. So would we rather him be a 19 or do we I think I think it's better to balance it a little bit. She's she's gotta be a good frontliner, so we do need her AC to be up. And we need to figure out some new bracers for you then. No one back home will ever believe this. Open up. Okay, let's go find your bracers. Alright, when I sort by type, why isn't everything that's food actually sorted properly? That's kind of annoying. Hello? I would love to just grab all of the food in one go, but you make it impossible, game. What is your sorting parameters? This makes no sense. Okay. The hero with the heart. Keep him base. Are you gonna have this exclamation mark forever now? Cause you're bugged or something? I sure hope not. <laughs> okay, so let's try and figure out what bracers we want to give you. Okay. Thunder, Lightning, Radiant, inflicts two turns of reverberations. Missile Snaring, we could give him Missile Snaring. Intercept. On a melee hit, possibly inflict, inflict minus 1d4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. Deals an additional 1d4 damage with throws, nope. The wearer gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes. That's the one that we had on before. Okay. There it is. Talk to me about this stuff well, now. Then we know our mission. Damn it. All roads converge at what's on your mind. Okay, there we go. It cleared it. Good. What path lies before me? All right, let's get our level 8s for our other two characters as well. Well met. Are you sure? And Oh, 
Go ahead. I'm listening. With... Okay, level 8 wizard. 50 HP. New level 4. Two spells and a new feat. Okay. Two new spells. Wreath your body in flames and shed light in a three meter radius. Provide resistance to fire, cold, and retaliate against melee attacks. 4 to 32 is not bad. Banishment. Maybe Ice Storm? You already got Fireball, right? Int and Dex. Okay. So your AC would have been 11 before. Now it's a 12. Go ahead. I'm listening. I question the wisdom of that. I'll be here. something <laughs> all right starion level 8 rogue 59 hp new feet um let's see i think i liked I, I think i know which one i just have to find it is it athlete no I think it's mobile. Your movement speed increases, and difficult terrain doesn't slow you down when you dash. If you move after making a melee attack, you don't provoke opportunity attacks from your target. So Bro can pop in and pop out pretty easily. Yeah. He's gonna take mobile. Yes? Oh, darling, I... it sounds... Well met. That... Since that actually does weigh you down... We'll split it up a little bit, too. Better not be cursed. Okay, I'm guessing something's gonna happen. Because it kind of forced us here. Uh, um, <laughs> oh dear. Hi. Supreme Kithrak, has Vlakid sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. 
Come again? Don't trust him. Skakak kia gith shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother gith compels you to listen. I mean, we have to hear him out, right? Yeah, Lizelle can take the lead. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lizelle. Within it lies the seed of Vlacketh's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlacketh's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. Hmm. It'd be wild if he actually dared say that. And he was lying, it seems like. Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who that is? If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally. Protects you with their power. What if it has something to do with Orpheus? That very power will be the end of Vlacket's tyranny. The Prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the Prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Boulder's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. together we will break our chains and be Vlacketh slaves no longer. I am no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me, and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Damn, okay. Madness. You flood me with this... this heresy. I... I will hear no more of it. So the thing that has me a little bit... A little bit up in... I can't fully trust this dude, right? He's saying all the right things, but... He's... Proposing that he's on the same side as whatever entity is inside of the prism. But the prism literally just told us before he said anything. Do not trust him. So... I don't want to be on Vlacketh's side. I really don't. I think I think we've seen enough, even from like the banned books and stuff, that um, she's bad shit. Whether or not we can trust him is a whole other thing, but I certainly know that she's bad news. Um, he speaks true of the Zathisk. You need to trust him. Everybody approved. I served Vlacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Boulder's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel. I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. 
Together, we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. Cool. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. He's like Keep her the right hand. prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Yeah, isn't he like considered her direct right hand, like her sword, essentially? He could also just be vying for more power himself, but... Item received the Quanith Psionic Detector. It looks like something we actually have to wear, though, so... Um... No, I don't think anybody's gonna actually wear it. We're just gonna get ambushed. Nice to have, though. Um, okay, did we technically rest? No, we haven't yet. Okay. Okay, um, let's see. I bet you that she at least has something new to say, but let's talk to everybody, because everybody probably has a little blurb. There's a schism growing among the Githyanki people, and Lazelle just took one step towards choosing a side. Some of her party is, like, gone. So we're going to meet Voss in the city, are we? Set the tenant of the prison free? This is all very, uh... I don't know. I like a good caper, but I'd long for a tiny bit of status quo now and again. I didn't expect Glazel to turn on the Lich Queen so readily. Wonders never cease. Readily isn't quite the word I would use. Vlakith cost Sivimkroth Crashet. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Never meet your heroes. What does Ascension entail exactly? Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose. To train hard enough to slay a Gaith and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. So, Voss called Vlakith the Tyrant. Does this mean you agree? I never thought Vlakith the Tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Gaith, not to prevent their grand design, 
but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. Who is the one in the prism, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. But Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. It's gonna be some, like, vestige of, like, one of the three dead gods or something. <laughs> it's gonna be something just as bad or worse. Uh, if Vos is wrong, if his claims are wrong and Vlakith's are real. Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. All right, let's seek they the truth. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Yes, I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Vos at Charesse's caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. Okay. So let's see. Um, Gale's stuff, I don't really know where his stuff is going. Um, all we know is that um, he can, he's been asked to go and basically blow himself up to destroy the Absolute. We know that um, Asterion, for his quest, I guess we should probably bring him to fight that Orthon. Um, because we might get another chance to talk to Raphael, and apparently he really wants to talk to Raphael, because he wants to make a deal with the devil, it sounds like. So, um, we might want to bring him for that, because I don't have any other leads for him right now. Um, Carlock, I don't think we can do anything until the ne uh, till Baldur's Gate. And Will, we're going to go and find his dad, and Shadowheart, we're going to learn more about Char in the Shadowlands, so... Still breathing, despite everything. Okay. I should really let my zombies nuke themselves somewhere away from our bedrolls, just saying. What will Voss have to show for himself when we catch up with him, I wonder? His intelligence may yet prove the key to unlocking the artifact's secrets. We shall ensure we follow up when we reach Baldur's Gate. So, Lazel's going to war with Vlakith? Going to break her chains in Baldur's Gate? Good for her. <laughs> I'm glad you're supportive, buddy. You know, next time I may actually do Warding Bond on Carlock. I think she needs the bonus to the armor class more. Yeah. But at the same time, these are the two that need to maintain concentration the most, so... 220s and 217s, that's honestly not, not half bad. Let's get going. Okay. So... Um, what else? This is what else. Okay. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Pet the animals. What's up for discussion? You smell very delicious. And now we can leave. Balbane Merkel, we're all once. Oh, never mind. I was going to read that.
All right, let's see where this takes us. Okay, you still want to talk. And... Oh, it was further down than I expected. I thought it'd be closer up here. Closer to this. Okay. Um, will you actually talk to me? Well met. Then we know our mission. All roads... Fathers at moon... We can't and we won't. Man, game, come on. <laughs> oh, fine. Swift as my feet can carry me. Protects against the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse. Do I have to redo the bell? Ring, ring! Ooter, scooter! You look like you want to say the magic words, like they're right on the tip of your lips. <laughs> We're living in a magical theater show puppeteered by a madman. Snurl. Don't you snurl at me, you nasty cow! <laughs> no! No, no, no! I needed that! Really? Fucking fairies, dude. Should've just killed her. All right, we're fine except for the really dark areas, right? Are we good in this area? Um, do I have to wait for... Shit. Maybe, a sh maybe you can try it again after a short rest, but... Pixie's an asshole. My lovely Dolly Thrice, who is so very sweet and nice, won't you assist your humble friend so I won't meet my cursed end? <laughs> I sure love it when they beg. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Girl, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> is it worth it? No 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 no, where are you going? Don't you dare. Stupid stupid camera. I'm trying to, to leave. Inside. Oh, that's cursed. This beast didn't go down without a fight. Um, do we want to do the fights? You know I want the experience. Okay, that one did not do the same thing. Okay. It's not like the crows. Open up. Sorry, Elegus. 
I'm guessing you were one of the uh can't give up now. Refugees. Yeah, refugee journal right there. A tiefling's journal charting the journey from El Torel to the Emerald Enclave, and now on the road to Baldur's Gate. The ox just up and died. It started choking out of nowhere, then killed over. We tried to pull the cart, but the ox knocked the wheel off when it went down, and the thing is in splinters. The others want to grab what we can and keep going, but this place feels wrong. My skin is crawling, like something is watching us from the darkness. No one else is talking much, but I can tell they feel the same. Go up to death by the look of it. So the ox is the one that killed you. I guess that makes sense. Okay, where is it that, um... Druid guy is, meet, is supposed to meet us. Moonrise. Hidden treasure. He told us to meet him somewhere, but I don't know where. Oh, just right there? Okay. Let's do some exploring, though. We're in a different part of the map right now. Forsaken to the curse, so that their owners could escape with their lives. Get to Baldur's Gate. An old map in druidic style of what appears to be hidden routes out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry. Go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. You can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. Dryder's caravan came from here. They won't be hurting oh. any prisoners from here. Next to us. They're just throwing bodies down this chasm. Just in case there's a trap, let's go a little bit slow. The pride of the gate. The magic touch. will ever believe this. Don't need animal speaking. Don't waste a step. We've got that one covered. Oh 
my god, severed head? Ah! Uh. Locking her face in an eternal bloody scream. Ugh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, we don't need to carry that around with us, but hey, if we notice that um, we have a puzzle that requires a severed head, we know where to find it. The Good pride God. of the gate. I'll see what I can do. This place is a fucking nightmare. Good show. We are going to start running low on these thieves tools, though. At least things have stayed interesting. Okay, that seems to go south. I don't think the head's important, but you never know in games like this. You really don't. That looks like a trap. Look at it. It's like in a little highlight of moonlight. Something's going to try and kill us down there. This looks like a dead end. Oh, this is so a trap. What do we think? Is that a mimic? Is that a mimic? Very well. Whatever severed this head, I think, is um, might be what's down here. Maybe it's a bird or something since there's a nest. Um, okay. We have something for this. Dear Mum, you forgot me, and that's not nice. The last time I forgot to tie my shoes good good and tight, you gave me a clout in the ear, so I hope someone does that to you. But if you can, can you come back, please? Or if you meet Mr. Looperdiddle Sw Swires, send him, because he's famous and quite good at helping people. And I need help, Mum. I feel funny here in the dark. The dark goes, movie, movie. It hurts my head. Feels like porridge. It hurts. Help me, Mr. Swit. Mum, oh, Mum. Sorry I wasn't brave. Even this body is headless. And that's not a woman's body, so that's somebody else. Something's popping people's heads off. Multiple people. What is out here? I don't see anything. A shadow cursed vine blight. Could it be that? 72 health. Best be on my way. It's well hidden. Oh dear. That's bad. Okay, so if there's a trap down here, we're in for it. On the prowl. Damn. Did I call that trap or did I call it? Okay, let's I'm actually start. Cost. Why does it keep switching those? Doesn't matter. 
Maybe they take more damage from... Yeah, we're... we're <laughs> that was dumb. Um, so normally the one on the left has been the one that's been radiant damage, and apparently this time it's not, so... Oh, it's not far enough! So close! Alright, we'll open this. Ice knife, cool. Don't really need that, though. Um, let's do a level one heal on you. Explodies. Okay, that's not good. Say bye bye. Nothing will stand in my way. was well placed. I keep on getting into fights right as I'm supposed to end the episode. This will be a long one again. Okay. What happened to my action? Eh, uh, whatever. Alright. Okay, we lost... Concentration, which sucks. Use Tanglevine form on Shadowheart. Needs 13 to save. So on attacks, we have to do this uh, Tanglevine thing. All right, well, that at least makes sure that you go down. What does Immobile do? Up to six enemies, slow them. No. We gotta remember to use that early on in our fights. And we got him. Brilliant. Okay, two more of these. Man, everybody's getting locked down, that sucks. I guess that's what these guys are about, though. No, no, no. Okay, good. Good, she saved. I'm going to enjoy this. Nothing important is ever easy.
Come on, 50-50. Damn it. No holding back. Need to act fast. So you're locked down too, unfortunately. Are you free this turn? I think you're free this turn. That was a really far push. All right, what now? All right, I'll take it. Well, this is where I need to end this episode. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle Demonar, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Angel Mejia, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Dennis McKinnon, The Blue Electric Cap, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.